We are following a dangerous situation unfolding right now. Several water rescues this morning. Parts of the interstate shut down as this flooding is really packing a punch. You can see that heavy rain still coming down. What are you experiencing there this morning? Yeah, good morning to you, Lauren. The rain keeps coming down and Metro safe has been very busy this morning. Preliminary numbers show that there have been at least 20 roads that have been barricaded and blocked down and so far at least two dozen water rescues. There's a Jeep stuck inside. Someone was out here. They zipped past the police here trying to go into the water. We have seen more rain in the last 24 hours than we typically see in the entire month. And our live team coverage continues this morning with Katherine Kington. She is live at Goldsmith Lane in live drive. It is unpredictable and there are roads or portions of roads that are covered, um, but that has been blocked off because of how high that water is. So that's where you were seeing some of those trucks. This is video we were able to shoot earlier and you can see these boats that have had to go to the apartment complexes, rescue these people on the first floors. The problem uh, interstate wise right now is going to be 65. They had to shut it down because of flooding at the Waterson Expressway and to add to the flooding, we now have a major fire at GE Appliance Park. Now, so you can expect closures along Shepherdsville Road in that area. You're looking at a picture right now live from that area. A huge fire. Again, this is a GE Appliance Park. We're told Building 6 is involved. A massive three alarm fire taking place right now. We have a crew at the scene. You can see the flooding there in the foreground and then that smoke behind the home. These are just the two major stories we're battling this morning. A live look from Live Drive. You can see there right in front of you almost looks like a tornado. I mean, this is just massive. That four alarm fire right now. I just jumped out of the car onto this scene, but this is a massive fire. We do know it's in building six. You hear these sirens, several crews. Oklahoma fire is flying down the road as fast as they can to get to this scene. I want that's Fairdale Fire Department right now. So several crews from several areas are coming to this fire. This is a look from downtown Louisville, about a 20 minute drive. You can see that plume of smoke. That dark, dark black smoke is billowing out and you can see it has extended all the way from that corner uh, of the building and it's going all the way into the sky. This has turned the sky black. You cannot see the sky. You cannot see through it. We were finally getting some daylight. We were having problems with our roads because of the flooding and the dark light and the minute it became light it suddenly went dark again oh my gosh you can see that right there hang on a second let's zoom in there you can see the roof just collapsing 823 this morning the roof collapsing live here on television wave 3 news this huge five alarm fire this morning GE appliance park I mean this is just absolutely unbelievable the winds fueling this fire it is Oh my gosh, it it's almost stops you in your tracks. Breathtaking to see this. And I want to give you a good indication of the distance. We're seeing this smoke here in downtown Louisville. That's nine miles away from where this actually is this morning. This is Appliance Park. Again, 4000 Butchel Bank Road this morning. Notice that blue pin. That is Building 6. Now we want to give you a live look from Air 3 this morning of this huge, massive fire. We've been giving you updates all morning long. More than 100 firefighters there on the scene. You can see that look there from vantage point of uh, Air 3. The far left-hand side of your screen, notice the white tip of that building uh, looks to be sinking down just a bit. That's because the roof just collapsed. And a GE worker telling us most of that building is a vacant section of the plant, and this is a leased building, not part of production. We are at the University of Louisville where we can actually see those plumes of smoke from miles and miles away. The wind has really started to pick up, and that's what's happy happening. It is carrying this. This has become even even larger than it was before if that were possible at the point it seemed big but this is obviously it looks like going to take this whole building we have watched as the siding of that building melted away as if it were wax on a candle that drips down it was that seamless how that was melting and then it has collapsed inward and that's when we got the perspective of how big that fire was inside of that building Catherine just telling us no one was in the building because it's a company holiday absolutely unbelievable uh, also finding out this morning uh, that this was called in around 730. Christie's pulling up radar right there. You can see what looks like a thunderstorm showing up on radar. I mean, I haven't seen this in the years and years and years that I've been a meteorologist or here on the news. But as you can see, there are smoke flames in the background here of this photo. We've got it full screen now, so you can see that it definitely is the inside of a warehouse. Again, we have checked the validity the best we can. This coming from a Wave 3 News viewer at this time who says that two people were 
inside of this warehouse at the time. We want to listen in live to Mayor Greg Fisher right now. He's addressing the flooding situation and also the breaking news of that five alarm fire. Since 1 a.m. this morning, uh, Louisville Division of Fire has been has responded to over 120 and still ongoing uh, water rescue incidents in a GE appliance park. Uh, roughly, like the mayor said, 200 firefighters uh, are tackling that incident, uh, which is still ongoing. Uh, we do understand that it is confined to the one building uh, and it's, it's uh, contained to that area. No injuries to civilians uh, or fire personnel have been reported. Uh, we have no uh, indication as to what the cause of what caused that fire. Now, a shelter in place has been issued following that massive five alarm fire. They said that they are going to be out here all day and through the night. There are several crews, 44 Louisville Metro firefighters joined the county firefighters right now. We do know that there were no injuries. Thankfully, we have been told uh, that by many GE workers that today was a company holiday and that warehouse was doing plastics. That was a place that plastic materials were being stored. So that is what's ignited. It's it's really those particles that we're seeing in that smoke and that smoke has some people worried. There is a shelter in place. Metro Health and Wellness Department has crews in the field to do air readings around the GE fire. Right now the air is considered okay.